Welcome back to the deep dive. Uh, this time we're diving into Notebook LM. It's Google's brand new AI tool. Yeah. Now I know what you're thinking. Oh yeah. Another AI tool. Right. But trust me. Okay. This one is different. It's not just another chatbot. Notebook LM is all about research and it's about making research faster, easier, and more engaging especially for those of us who are constantly juggling a million things. Yeah, that's right. What makes Notebook LM so unique is its ability to like become an expert in your specific research. Oh, wow. So think about it. You can upload all those reports, articles, even your own notes, uh -huh. and Notebook LM will just instantly analyze and digest them. Okay. It's like a personalized research assistant for your project. Okay, that sounds pretty cool, but how is it different from just, you know, copying and pasting? text into chat GPT. Great question. So with Notebook LM, you're not just getting generic responses based on the entire internet. Right. It's trained specifically on your uploaded documents, up to 50 files or a massive 500,000 words. This means the insights and summaries it provides are laser focused on your specific research, making it way more powerful than just a general purpose AI. So it's like having an AI that's read and understood all your research material before you even ask a question. Exactly. Wow. Imagine you're working on a project about say, the future of renewable energy. Okay. And you've got a mountain of reports, articles, and data to sift through. Instead of spending hours trying to make sense of it all, you can upload everything into Notebook LM and it instantly becomes an expert on that specific topic, ready to provide tailored insights and answer your questions. That's incredible. So how does it actually work? Do I just upload my documents and start asking questions? It's very user friendly. Yeah. You just log in with your Google account, upload your documents and boom, you're ready to go. And then what? What kinds of things can I ask it? Well, one of the coolest features is the notebook guide. It's like a personalized cheat sheet for your research. Yeah. Let's say you're researching climate change yeah. and you've uploaded a bunch of scientific papers. The notebook guide will give you an AI generated summary of the key findings across all those papers, highlighting the most important points and even suggesting questions you might want to ask, like what are the most significant disagreements between these researchers? Mm. It's like having an expert guide leading you through the material. That sounds amazing. And what if I have my own specific questions that aren't in the notebook guide? You can absolutely ask those too. Yeah. And here's the really cool part. Notebook LM doesn't just give you like a generic answer. It provides specific citations from your uploaded documents. To support its claims, you can even click on those citations and jump directly to the relevant section. Wow, that's really impressive. So it's not just spitting out information, it's actually showing you where it's getting that information from. Exactly. And that's crucial because it promotes transparency and encourages you to verify the information for yourself which is always important even when working with AI. Now, you mentioned that Notebook LM is more than just a research tool. You said it can actually help you think outside the box. Can you elaborate on that? Absolutely. One of the things that surprised me about Notebook LM is its creative capabilities. Oh, really? You can ask it to do things like brainstorm ideas based on your research, yeah. or even distill complex concepts into creative formats. For example, you could ask it to write a haiku. A haiku. Summarizing a specific topic. Someone even used it to capture the essence of math education challenges in the US in just three lines. Talk about a new way to look at things. That's incredible. So it's not just about like summarizing or extracting information. It's about helping you think differently and approach your research from fresh angles. Exactly. And speaking of creative ways to use Notebook LM, it can also help you organize your insights into practical and actionable formats. No, that sounds interesting. Tell me more. Imagine being able to effortlessly create things like FAQs, study guides, timelines, or even interview scripts yeah. directly from your research material. Wait, hold on. It can create all of that, just like that. It really can. It's like having a research assistant who can not only analyze and summarize your documents, right, but also format your findings in a way that's immediately useful, whether you're a student, researcher, or professional. Wow. Okay, this is seriously blowing my mind. I need a minute to process all of this. I know. Okay, so we've talked about uploading documents, the notebook guide, asking questions, getting citations, the creative capabilities, and even creating structured formats. What else is there? Well, there's one more feature that's generating a lot of buzz. Yeah. And it's something I know you're particularly excited about. Oh, yeah. It's the podcast feature. 
Oh yes, the podcast feature. I have to admit, this is the part that really caught my attention. The idea of having AI voices discuss my research while I'm on a walk or doing chores is so appealing. Yeah, it's a game changer for busy learners and professionals yeah. who want to make the most of their time. Right. Instead of setting aside dedicated time to read through dense materials, mm -hmm. you can absorb the key points while multitasking. And it's not just about convenience. I was genuinely surprised by how engaging the AI voices were when I tried it out. It really felt like I was listening to a well-produced podcast, not just a robotic reading of text. That's because Notebook LM doesn't simply convert text to speech. It uses these advanced algorithms to create a conversational flow between two AI voices, mm. almost like they're having a natural discussion about the topic. It's impressive how they weave in different perspectives, highlight key findings, and even make connections between different sources. However, it's worth noting that this technology is still under development. So there might be like occasional quirks. For instance, you might hear the AI voices say something unexpected. Oh, really? Or pause for a non-existent commercial break. You're kidding. Yeah. So it's not perfect. Right. You're good to know. It's still in development. Right. But we'll get into that in part two of our deep dive. So we covered a lot of ground already about what Notebook LM can do, but like, let's get into how to really make the most of it. Yeah, you're right. It's amazing to hear about all these features, but like, what are the keys to really unlocking its potential? Well, one of the most important things is choosing the right ingredients, so to speak. Mobook LM is great at analyzing information, but it's up to you to make sure that information is accurate and relevant in the first place. You mean like making sure I'm using good sources, kind of like how you wouldn't bake a kick with spoiled milk? Exactly. Hmm. Notebook LM treats all input the same, whether it's a peer-reviewed scientific paper or a work of fiction. Yeah. It's up to you to curate the sources you feed it, ensuring they align with your goals. That makes sense. So good sources in, good insights out. What else should I keep in mind? The way you phrase your questions also plays a big role. Just like with other AI tools, the clearer and more specific your prompts are, the better Notebook LM can understand what you're looking for. So instead of asking a general question like, what's this article about? I should be more specific like, what are the main arguments for and against this particular policy? Precisely. Think of it like giving Notebook LM a detailed map instead of just saying, take me somewhere. The more guidance you provide, the better it can navigate your research and deliver the insights you need. So being strategic with your prompts is key. Any other tips for getting the most out of Notebook LM? Well, we've talked about the structured formats, but it's worth diving a little deeper into how they can be real game changers depending on your needs. Okay, you've definitely piqued my curiosity. Tell me more about these structured formats and how they can be useful. Let's say you're a student preparing for an exam. Instead of just rereading all your notes and textbooks, you could upload them to Notebook LM and ask it to create a study guide. So it would pull out the most important information and organize it into a digestible format. That would be a huge time saver. Exactly. And it's not just for students. Professionals can use it to create presentations, reports, or even training materials from their research. It can even generate FAQs from your documents, saving you the hassle of manually creating them. That's incredible. It sounds like these structured formats can make information so much more accessible and actionable no matter what you're working on. They really can. And the best part is it's all done with just a few clicks. You oh. can either use the predefined buttons in the notebook guide or type in a specific request, like create a timeline of events from these historical documents. Wow, the flexibility and potential are really impressive. It's like having a personalized research assistant who can anticipate your needs and present information in the most helpful way possible. That's a great way to put it. And speaking of helpful resources, it's worth mentioning that Google has put a lot of effort into making Notebook LM user-friendly. There's a comprehensive support page with guides and tutorials, and there's even a dedicated Discord forum where you can connect with other users and the developers. It's great to see that they're fostering a community around this tool and providing support for those who want to explore its full potential. Absolutely. And we've talked a lot about the practical applications of Notebook LM, but let's shift gears for a moment and consider something a little more philosophical. You've got my attention. What's on your mind? Well, I can't help but think about the larger implications of this kind of technology. How might Notebook LM and tools like it change the way we learn and interact with information in the future? That's a fascinating question. It seems like we're on the verge of a major shift in how we access and process information. It really does. Imagine a world where anyone can easily access and understand complex information regardless of their background or expertise. 
That's the kind of future Notebook LM is hinting at. It's both exciting and a little daunting, isn't it? On the one hand, it could democratize knowledge and make learning more accessible than ever before. But on the other hand, it raises questions about the role of human expertise and critical thinking in a world where AI can do so much of the heavy lifting. That's right. It's important to remember that AI tools like Notebook LM are just that tools. They can enhance our capabilities, but they don't replace the need for human judgment, critical thinking, and ethical considerations. I think that's a crucial point. As amazing as these tools are, it's up to us to use them responsibly and thoughtfully. Exactly. And that brings us to an important aspect of using Notebook LM effectively. Remembering that it's still a tool under development. While it's capable of impressive feats, there might be times when it throws you a curveball. You mean like those quirky moments you mentioned earlier with the podcast feature, where the AI voices might say something unexpected? Exactly. Those little glitches are a good reminder that AI, even advanced AI, is not perfect. Yeah. It's important to approach the information it provides with a healthy dose of skepticism and always double check anything that seems off. So it's all about finding that balance between leveraging the power of AI and maintaining our own critical thinking skills. Precisely. And that mindset is especially important when it comes to the podcast feature, which we'll delve into more deeply in part three of our deep drive. Okay, so we left off talking about those quirky moments with the podcast feature. Right. Can you give me an example of what you mean? Yeah, sure. Imagine uh, you're listening to an AI-generated podcast about some historical event, uh -huh. and suddenly one of the voices throws in like a random comment about the weather or starts humming a tune. Yeah, like... It's those like little unexpected moments that remind you you're dealing with artificial intelligence. Right. Not like human commentators. That's pretty funny, actually. It's like the AI is trying to be too human and ends up revealing its artificiality in the process. Exactly. And while it can be amusing, it also highlights the importance of like approaching these podcasts with a discerning ear. Right. Don't just take everything the AI says as gospel truth. Right. Always good to double check and do your own research, especially when dealing with important topics. Absolutely. Mm. But even with those quirks, the podcast feature is still incredibly powerful. Yeah. It's like having someone distill the key points of your research and deliver them in a way that's easy to digest, even if you're multitasking. I can definitely see the appeal, especially for those of us who are constantly on the go. It's like turning your research into an audiobook. Right. But instead of just a narrator, you have two AI voices having conversation about the topic. And that conversational element is what makes it so engaging. It's not just a dry recitation of facts. The AI voices actually make connections between different sources, highlight areas of agreement and disagreement, and even inject a bit of personality into the discussion. That's impressive. It sounds like they've really pushed the boundaries of what's possible with text-to-speech technology. They really have, and I think it has the potential to change the way we consume information in a big way. Imagine being able to listen to a podcast about the latest scientific breakthroughs while you're commuting to work or doing chores around the house. It's like having a personal tutor or a team of experts available to you 24-7. Right. That's incredible. And it's not just about convenience. I think this type of technology could also make learning more accessible and engaging for people who struggle with traditional reading or who prefer auditory learning styles. That's a great point. It's like opening up a whole new world of information to people who might have previously felt excluded or intimidated by dense academic texts. Exactly. <laughs> and that's why I'm so excited about the potential of Notebook LM and tools like it. Yeah. They have the power to democratize knowledge and make learning more personalized and engaging for everyone. It's like we're standing on the cusp of a new era of information access and consumption. And it's both thrilling and a little bit mind boggling. It really is. <laughs> and as with any new technology, there will be challenges to overcome and questions to answer. But I'm optimistic about the future and the possibilities that AI tools like Notebook LM offer. Well, I have to say, you've definitely convinced me Notebook LM sounds like a game changer for anyone who wants to learn more effectively and efficiently. I'm glad to hear that. <laughs> and I encourage everyone listening to check it out for themselves and see how it can enhance their own research and learning journeys. That's great advice. So as we wrap up our deep dive into the world of Notebook LM, what's the one key takeaway you want our listeners to remember? I think the most important thing is to approach this technology with a sense of curiosity, experimentation, and critical thinking. Don't be afraid to try new things, ask questions, and challenge the assumptions that the AI presents. Remember, AI is a tool, and like any tool, it's up to us to use it wisely and ethically. Well said.
And on that note, I want to thank you for joining us on this fascinating exploration of Notebook LM. It's been a pleasure. And to all our listeners out there, if this deep dive has sparked your curiosity, we encourage you to share your thoughts and ideas with us on social media or on our website. We'd love to hear what documents you would choose to have Notebook LM create a podcast from. Until next time, happy researching up.